COVID-19 can spread in various ways. We've received an email from one viewer who asked if it can be transmitted through the eyes. Well, News A's Shannon Handy spoke with an expert and has more in this Verify report. At this point, we're all accustomed to wearing a mask over our mouth and nose. That's to protect others as well as yourself. But what about the eyes? Should we be concerned? The question came from a News A viewer who wanted to know, can COVID-19 infect someone through their eyes? We reached out to Dr. Greg Steele, optometry division chief at Sharpery Steely Medical Group. He verified, yes, it's possible, but highly unlikely. Coronavirus is a respiratory virus, so it's much more likely to get in through the mouth or the nose because there are mucous membranes in there. We also have some mucous membranes on the front of our eye called the conjunctiva. So technically, yes, it can. It's just incredibly unlikely. With that being said, should people consider using eye protection? Dr. Steele says no, unless you're working in close contact with those who may be sick. For first responders or anybody who's working around the eyes, for example, if you're in the clinic, we've added some additional things. So that's why you see first responders with those face shields. Uh, here in the clinic at Sharpie Staley, we have added uh, a plexiglass shield to all of our microscopes to just add that extra layer of protection. There have been reports from people who believe they contracted COVID-19 through the eyes. For example, one man who happens to be a doctor claims he got it on a crowded flight while wearing a mask. At this point, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is only recommending eye protection for workers in areas where there's a high risk of infection. For everyone else, follow these simple tips. Avoid rubbing your eyes and wash your hands often. Hand washing is by far the most important thing you could be doing. If there's an issue or question you'd like us to look into, just email us at verify at kfmb.com. Back to you.